there everyone, welcome or welcome back. I'm Melanie Kate Love, thank you so much for joining me for another episode. Today's video I'm gonna talk about how I lost 10 kilos without exercising. Now this happened about three years ago at the beginning of my journey to become my greatest version. I started learning about spirituality and self-love and what foods actually work truly best for me. And I actually managed to lose 10 kilos by purely cutting out preservatives, which then left me with foods in their most natural state. And today, three years later, I feel truly at my best eating whole plant foods. So take, for example, a sweet potato. You chop it up, put it in the oven, you make sweet potato fries, have some tomato sauce with it, whatever you want to do. That is a whole plant food. Um, fruit is another one. Just eating fruit. Foods that literally come out of the ground and not having them full of preservatives and everything like that. That was the easiest way. I didn't fall in love with exercise until like three years later. And I lost the majority of my weight by purely eating the right foods. And I know a lot of people, well, I see so many people on Instagram saying, you have to work out this many times and blah, 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 blah. Yes, I work out five times a week now, but purely because I actually love it and it is not a chore anymore. So I just wanted to remind you that like wherever you are on your journey to become your greatest version, spend time educating yourself on nutrition and not looking at food as calories. If you look at food as nutrient dense, which you will notice if you check out my playlist, um, how Not to Diet, which features Dr. Michael Greger's latest book, which is the latest in evidence-based nutrition. It talks about the daily dozen and foods that you need to eat that are going to help prevent and reverse illness and disease within your body. I didn't have that information when I started, but I was learning about um, how to cure cancer because I noticed that everyone around me was basically dying of cancer or knew someone who had already passed. And I was like, I don't want to be sick. And that didn't really appeal to me. I also wanted to cure my skin. I used to have really bad acne, but I don't anymore. And um, I had, I was like 10 kilos heavier at that time. Um, I had really bad digestive issues. It basically came about me trying to look better and feel better and live a life of vitality and just feel good about myself because I never did. And I noticed that fruits and vegetables was basically like the linchpin to help kickstart my life. I am who I am today because of that one choice to better the food that I was like nourishing my body with. I didn't realize that if you look at all of those store bought um, like mayonnaise or like all those extra toppings, things that you can add onto it, if you're buying things in packages, my goodness, the things that they use in those packaged goods, oh my gosh, are not good for you. Um, but that's where I started. I just started off simply cutting out preservatives. I lost 10 kilos by basically sitting on the couch. And then as I started to fill um, my brain with positive thoughts, I then began a self-love movement. You can check out my playlist, um, How to Feel Beautiful and How to Love Yourself. That is amazing. That's a very moving video. I do get a little bit emotional in that one, but I think that that's incredible. I talk about self-love practices. Um, so yeah, education, learning how to um, fill your, your brain with lovely, lovely thoughts. Then I got into meditation. So it was kind of like a snowball effect. As momentum kicked in, kicked in and I started feeling good, every other aspect of, within my life changed as well. So you don't need to work out every single day to lose weight because you're basically, if you're eating crap food and you're exercising, it's like you're just kind of like going like this. Nothing is dramatically shifting like on the scale. That's probably a better way to do it with my hands like this. So I was like, I was slowly eating better. I was feeling good. And then the weight just started coming off and then it kind of like snowballed out from there. I noticed also when I started switching up um, my cravings for things, I then did research into cravings and found that that is a nutrient deficiency. And when I started eating a rainbow of foods, um, which is also flows into the accordance of the seven chakras. I'm actually making um, a playlist on that now. I've actually released two videos. They are released every Friday at 6 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. I've spoken about the root chakra. We've spoken about the sacral. And on Friday, which is tomorrow, we're going to be talking about the solar plexus. And each 
um, different chakra is resonates with a different color, which also resonates into different colors of food. You basically eat a rainbow of whole plant foods. You're going to be feeling amazing. Yes, you do need to exercise. Yes, it is so important. But when you get started, the most important is educating yourself so you have the knowledge and understanding to make better choices and decisions. If you've been watching my channel for over two and a half years now, you would know that I am a massive believer in that. Weight loss to me was not a quick fix. I never intended to be like, right, I need to lose 10 kilos, blah, blah, blah. Because if you're saying that, then your mentality is already messed up. You need to get to the stage of like saying, okay, I want to be fitter, I want to be healthier, I want to feel good because the feelings that you have um, correspond with your intuition because when you feel good you know you're doing the right thing. Let's say for instance you're going to eat um, a whole pundit of strawberries. How do you feel after you consume that? Is your belly bloating? Are you tired? Do you feel sick? And then how do you feel when you go to McDonald's and you have like a... Um, or what did I used to have? A Big Mac. That used to be my favorite. I used to love Big Macs. Um, and my friend Alicia actually used to have a Big Mac in every single country. And then when I learned about how the meat was produced, which was another story, um, when you get more into like the ethics of um, becoming an ethical vegan and learning that animal agriculture is like killing our planet and obviously the animals and plant of the Anyway, we won't talk about that in this video right now. But basically when I learned about what was in it and I was connecting to how I was feeling, I was tired, I was sluggish, I didn't feel good and obviously I did gain weight because I basically ate my way around McDonald's when I was traveling around Europe in 2010 or 11. Um, yeah, you don't feel good and you're just like, oh, I need an afternoon nap. When you eat high vibrational food in their natural state, you're going to be bouncing off the walls. That is exactly how I feel today. And a true test of health is in the eyes. Check out the color of my eyes. My whites have never been clearer. My blues intensified. They used to be a bit of a dull color, but... When you look at somebody's eyes, you can see into their story of health. There's a lot of people out there and their eyes aren't looking too good. And then that's the best indication for health because you could be thin, but be unhealthy. So my message today, educate yourself, make sure you're eating whole plant foods, nourish your mind, body and soul with beautiful, loving thoughts, loving food, high vibrational things. Surround yourself with beautiful people. They will rise and... ah. Oh, you're going to be feeling amazing. If you need any information to help support you, please check out my healing and transformation playlist. It's going to help you um, to basically clarify in detail everything that I have spoken about today. You don't need to exercise to lose weight. Exercise is important, absolutely, but nourishing your body with whole plant foods is truly optimal for vitality and living a life that is going to be free of illness and disease. Anyway, my loves, thank you so much for watching today's video. I would love to hear from you in the comment section below. Please let me know how are you going on your journey to become your greatest version? And did you notice a difference when you started changing the food that you were feeding your body? Please make sure you subscribe if you're new to the Melanie Kate Love Fam videos, Tuesday to Friday at 6 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. I love you so much. Give me a like and I will see you tomorrow.